In my first week at Laurier, I wrote goals for myself. By the end of the year, I planned to sing without any unnecessary vocal tension, to experience consistent freedom in all of my high notes, and to perform every single piece I sang with full accuracy and emotional connection 100% of the time. And since first year, I dreamed about giving a polished, perfectly rehearsed, perfectly executed grad recital in a ball gown where everyone could hear how I had learned to sing perfectly throughout my four years. This is not that. Jenny's afraid of water. I mean, she swims and all, but still, she's afraid of water. So she won't go near the sea. Not me. And Katie's afraid of darkness. I mean, she sleeps and all, but still, she's afraid of darkness. So when the lights are out, she has to hold my hand. I don't understand. I'm not afraid of anything. Be it mountains, water, dragons, dark or sky. I'm not afraid of anything. Tell me where's the challenge if you never try So watch me fly I'm not afraid And daddy's afraid of babies I mean he got through me but now he's afraid of babies Guess he's scared of what they'll be Not me Mama's afraid of crying. You know she tries to hold it in. She's afraid of crying. And she can look at you with tears stuck in her eye. And I don't know why. I'm not afraid of anything. Be it growing old or going out of style. I'm not afraid of anything. Who would give up what they want without a trial? Another mile. I'm not afraid. And I hear the calling of adventure. And I feel the ringing in my ear The lights are ready Pulse is steady I'm right here And I hear the calling of tomorrow And I feel the stirring in my bones And David loves me He's afraid to hold me Listen to the calling of excitement Can you feel the pounding of my heart? The lights are ready Pulse is steady, I can start. Never stop the calling of the challenge. Blessing on the water and the stones. And David loves me. He's afraid to tell me. David loves me. He's afraid to trust me. He's afraid to hold me. And he'll always be. He's afraid of me, and I'm not afraid of anyone. I am sure to win with anyone at all. I'm not afraid of anyone. Not a soul alive can get behind this wall. 
let them call and watch them fall. Cause after all, I'm not afraid. When I arrived at Laurier, I came ready to take on the world. I believed that I could do anything, and do it perfectly eventually. I thought that I was fearless. But behind that perfectionistic armor was a deep fear of failure. Day by day, I grew more into myself at Laurier, and that fear became harder to ignore. Practice Log, October 5th, 2017 I realized that I actually feel more comfortable with trying new things when I'm sick because I know that I won't sound my best, so I feel better about making mistakes or creating ornaments in songs that don't sound right. It just made me realize how easily the notion of perfection can interrupt true expression and artistry. Hi everyone, I'm Sarah and this is Bubbly, the first song I learned on ukulele. Like a child now, cause every time I see your bubbly face, I get the tingles in a silly place, it starts in my toes, makes me crinkle my nose, wherever it goes, I always know that you make me smile, please stay for a while now, just take your time, wherever you go, the rain is falling on my window pane. Hiding in a safer place Undercover Staying dry and warm You give me feelings that I adore, they start in my toes Make me crinkle my nose Wherever it goes I always know That you make me smile Please stay for a while now Just take your time Wherever you go Starts in my toes, makes me crinkle my nose Wherever it goes, I always know That you make me smile, please stay for a while now Just take your time, wherever you go like a child now cause every time you hold me in your arms I'm comfortable enough to feel your warmth it starts in my soul makes me lose all control when you kiss my nose the feeling shows cause you make me smile baby just take your time now holding me tight Okay, so the thing that's weird about running is I now have to practice running because I have to use a metronome now because of my physio. So I have to literally run to the beat and I feel like a deer. So 
this is my first run of 2021 since physio, and I'm only allowed to do 30 seconds at a time. So here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. So just to give a sense of what it's like to be in my practice brain, this was my practice log when I did it visually for a week. And it's just so interesting to me that all of these things are parts of practice and even inspired more practice. I don't know, I think, I think it's pretty incredible. Practice really can be anything and clearly is anything, given that this was how I experienced practice. So practice also turned into making more time to do things we love with people we love, which included teaching my mom to play piano, as we will show you now. Practice Log, February 1st, 2018. I think I need to remember that not everything needs to be about constant growth and achievement, and that perfection isn't real. It allows for a life of constant growing and learning if I can let this go, and I want that. So keeping that in mind, I don't know what my rush is. In the spirit of the little things and getting to know myself better, I found the courage this year to finally start songwriting, which was a dream of mine for countless years that I never quite worked up the courage to do. It was also very much something I chose to do as a beginner. And as such, I'd like to share what that was like. This is the fourth song I ever wrote, and I have yet to share it because it was about a very difficult experience in my life. And the message of this song is that no matter what happens to you, you are always capable of loving yourself and staying strong. 
This is inextricable. Log, March 15th, 2018. I think I've grown up doing math style thinking, where there's a clear problem and its solution, and where there is always a single correct answer to be found. I feel safe with math, I know there will be an answer, and I know that I can keep working on similar examples until I perfectly understand the concept and that's the end of it. Singing is so scary and vulnerable, and that's absolutely what makes it so special but also what makes it really hard. There is no end point with singing, I'm realizing. No answer to the problem. It's this lifelong experience of growth and improvement, because there always will be things to improve on forever. I will never find a solution or always get everything right as a singer, because that's just not what singing is about. It's fluid and ever-changing and involves adapting to so many different circumstances in your environment and your body and for your audience, and it's our duty as artists to bring vulnerability to the table like that and remind people of the fact that we are all human. We all share these incredible emotions that connect us and bring us together. And I think that is why art matters. It's that connection. Would that I were a Shattered jewel that all my shining brilliance might fall at thy feet, thou dark one. Would that I were a garment, a shimmering silk and garment that all my Thy body, 
As I learned to sing from my heart, sometimes my heart got broken. One of those times was learning that we had lost our beloved Dean, Glenn Carruthers, in my fourth year at Laurier. I wrote this song in the 15 minutes after I heard the news because I didn't know how else to process it. And I have never shared it publicly yet, but I hope to one day. And this is the first draft of my song, Glenn. This path is reckless, 
think you should think you should know that nothing safe is worth the drive and I will follow you follow you home I'll follow you follow you home From a need to connect with oneself, slowing down to breathe, and taking time to listen, the skills developed in virtual voice lessons, rehearsals, and body mapping lessons are the same skills that our Saint society needs to recover from the pandemic. Resilience is a practice, and the more opportunities we have to cultivate it, the stronger we will become. Human beings are incredibly powerful because of our vulnerability, not in spite of it. And vocal music education holds the potential to strengthen this power even further. Thank you all very much for listening. I found Sarah, exactly as she is, complete and worthy in all her glorious imperfection. I am someone who loves with my whole heart every single day. I take risks, I cry, and I laugh, and I'm vulnerable all the time. And like every other human being on the planet, I am unbelievably beautiful in my vulnerability. It has made me a better friend, a stronger person, and a whole lot more fun. spring with startup speeds of 60 miles per hour I want a lover to sweep me off my feet and slide me into the gutter without the Oh,